Namaste all, this is Dr. Meenakshi. So today I am with the new topic. I mean new topic means the disease uh, which we are going through the series of diseases. In that the new topic of disease I am going to start that is congenital disorders. So uh, we will hear frequently, not commonly but frequently we will hear the types of several types of diseases in a newborns right when we visit a pediatric uh, hospital children's specialist hospital we can hear several types of disease in a newborn so but these several types of disease to make it easy to diagnose and to make it easy to treat and according to their causes they are categorized under different uh, types of disease or they are categorized under different categories like uh, maybe till now we saw the caput, succedinium, herbs, palsy, maybe everything. Those all comes under birth injuries, right? So next, our uh, next category is congenital disorders. And some are categorized under genetic disorders. And uh, some are uh, categorized under hereditary disorders. Like, um, what is this congenital disorders? And which all diseases will come under this congenital disorders? We will see. So specially what is this congenital disorder? These are the uh, diseases which cause for the developing fetus. The defect will cause in the gestational age due to some cause. Uh, the defect will happen and it will onset after birth. Those come under congenital disorders. The defect will be in fetus only. In gestational age only there will be defect. And it will cause the onset of clinical features after birth. And uh, main characteristics or the main defect happens in uh, maybe the error in the morphogenesis or uh, there may be genetic structure defect or maybe the defect in intrauterine environment or as I said uh, um, morphogenesis defect or uh, maybe the all overall chromosomal anomaly. These all will cause the different types of di congenital diseases in a children. But the onset of diseases and clinical features will be may, uh, maybe in the prenatal period of a newborn or postnatal. That is, the uh, newborn is known as neonate or natal period till 28 days. From first day of birth till 28 days, we will say as neonate or a natal period, right? In this natal period, the onset of clinical features may happen or it may happen after postnatal period and these congenital disorders are in several types like uh, they are categorized under several types again has congenital physical anomaly means this congenital physical anomaly means there will be defect in a structure of a body part but it won't cause any problem for the routine life and uh, next thing is congenital malformation this congenital malformation means there will be defect in a structure and it will cause some problems in a routine life. These are comes under congenital malformations. Next is birth defect. Birth defect means immediately after birth there will be any structural defect. By seeing only we can say huh, there is a uh, issue in a health or is, uh, there is a defect in a structure. Like example cleft lip, cleft palate. Immediately after birth we can diagnose those. And uh, next thing is Next thing is uh, genetic disorder. Genetic disorders means there will be defect in a genes, chromosomes, anything. And it will onset their clinical features after postnatal period or in routine any um, time at the life, they can onset their clinical features. There will be defect in a gene. Those comes out of genetic defects or genetic disorders. And uh, last thing is congenital metabolic disorder means there will be metabolic error, inborn error in a newborn, those comes under congenital metabolic disorders. So these all are the uh, types of congenital disorders which we can categorize under congenital diseases. And uh, uh, these comes under types and causes which we saw and we will see which all diseases will come under this congenital disorders. Those are the congenital cardiac diseases like CHD, VHD will come and uh, cleft lip, cleft palate, hydrocephalus and uh, anal stringer or imperforated anus and uh, talipus uh, equinovirus or talipus vulgus 
and spina bifida meningocele and meningomyelocele and uh, some diseases like uh, tracheoesophageal fistula these all will come under uh, congenital disorders these are the diseases which categorized under congenital disorders so this was about the explanation of modern so now we'll see in our ayurvedic part through which disease it is correlated and what are the causes for this particular congenital disorders in ayurvedic aspect so coming for our ayurveda this congenital disorders are categorized under sahaja vyadis or garbhaja vyadis or combination of both sahaja and garbhaja as we know these there will be defect in a gestational age so they mentioned garbhaja vyadi or sahaja vyadi or combination our acharya kashyapa explained this uh, sahaja vyadi's causes in a brief in sharira sthana has bijatma karmashaya kala doshair matustata ahara vihara doshaihi kurvanti dosha vividanni dushtah samsthana varnendriya vaikrutani means the particular causes through which there may be congenital diseases he explained in kashyapa samhita sharira sthana second chapter 29 shloka you can refer he explained the diseases uh, the particular causes has bija dosha means artava or this sperm anything ovum or a sperm uh, defect may cause the congenital disorders that is bija dosha ashaya dosha ashaya here means uterus for uterus we will say ashaya right uh, maybe intrauterine defect that is uterine, uterus defect ashaya dosha kala dosha kala dosha means not our normal routine seasonal defect uh, kala dosha here means time of conception if there is any defect like disturbed mind of father or mother in a time of conception or there may be any other uh, defects during time of conception may cause congenital disorders matuja ahara the diet which pregnant woman takes and matuja vihara the activities which the pregnant woman does it all depends on the growing uh, growing fetus right so these all will cause these all if any defect happen in these all types it may cause congenital disorders and it was about the particular causes through which sahaja vyadis or garbhaja vyadis will occur so now we'll see what are the diseases correlated with the ayurvedic concept in sahaja vyadis so these congenital disorders are uh, correlated with the ayurvedic concept has the rudhya janya vikaras and uh, kandoshta kandatalu and uh, um, jala shirshaka and uh, sanniruddha guda and pada vikruti these all will come under uh, sahaja vyadis or garbhaja vyadis so these all are the diseases which comes under congenital disorders so this was the just introduction for the congenital disorders from next video i'll explain one particular single uh, disease of uh, congenital diseases the modern concept and the correlation with the ayurvedic aspect so from next video we'll start the uh, diseases this was just the introduction that what is this congenital disorders how it will cause and uh, what will be the results which are the diseases which comes under this congenital disorders thank you